Hello everyone, welcome back to Knowledge Base. In today's video, we'll dive into a crucial concept in Java object-oriented programming. Specifically, we'll explore how hierarchical inheritance works in Java by walking through an example involving the shape interface and its two child classes, circle and rectangle. If you're new here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Java tutorials. Let's get started. Hierarchical inheritance is a type of inheritance where a single base class or interface is inherited by multiple derived classes. This setup allows the derived classes to share common behavior defined in the base class while also implementing their unique functionalities. In our example, we have an interface shape which is inherited by two classes, circle and rectangle. Both these classes implement the area, method defined in the shape interface, but they calculate the area differently. Let's start by looking at the shape interface. The shape interface has one constant, pi, and an abstract method, area. This method will be implemented differently in each of the classes that inherit this interface. Now let's examine the circle class, which implements the shape interface. Here the circle class has one member variable, radius. The area method is overridden to calculate the area of a circle using the formula pi r superscript 2. Similarly we have the rectangle class, which also implements the shape interface. The rectangle class has two member variables, length and breadth. The area Method is overridden here to calculate the area of a rectangle using the formula length times breadth. Let's now look at the main class inheritance demo 4, where we'll create instances of circle and rectangle to demonstrate hierarchical inheritance. In the main method, we first create an object of the circle class with a radius of 5 and calculate its area. Then, we create an object of the rectangle class with length 12 and breadth 20, and calculate its area. Notice that we're also demonstrating runtime polymorphism. We assign a circle object to a shape reference, and later a rectangle object to the same reference. The appropriate area method is called based on the actual object type stored in the shape reference.
Let's look at the output. The first two lines show the area of a circle with a radius of 5 and a rectangle with dimensions 12 by 20. The next two lines demonstrate runtime polymorphism. The shape reference first holds a circle object with a radius of 10, and then a rectangle object with dimensions 10 by 12. The correct area method is invoked each time, showing the versatility of hierarchical inheritance. In summary, hierarchical inheritance allows multiple classes to inherit from a single interface or base class, promoting code reusability and a clear structure. In this video we've seen how the shape interface is implemented by the circle and rectangle classes, each providing its own specific area, calculation. I hope this explanation has helped you understand hierarchical inheritance in Java. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to KnowledgeBase for more insightful Java tutorials. See you in the next video. Subscribe to our channel to increase your knowledge with the knowledge base. Thank you.